Hello. Today we are going to discuss about fibrinolysis. Before we study this topic, it is very important to first understand about the hemostasis. So, let us quickly revise. Following a vascular injury and clot formation, the discontinuity of the blood vessels are repaired by proliferation of adjacent fibroblasts, smooth muscle cells and endothelial cells. Now, let us go into the details of fibrinolysis. Let us first break the term down. Fibrin is activated factor 1. Lysis means breaking down. Hence fibrinolysis means breaking down of fibrin. Fibrin is dissolved into small soluble products called as the fibrin degradation products or FDP. The dissolution of fibrin occurs by the action of a proteolytic enzyme, known as plasmin. There are certain things you have to know about plasmin which is the activated form of plasminogen. Plasminogen is a plasma protein that is synthesized by liver and is present in the blood plasma. When a clot is formed, plasminogen is also incorporated in it. You also need to remember that the activated factor 2 that is thrombin and the tissue plasminogen activator is also present. So, keeping all these things in mind, what happens is, thrombin formed during the process of clotting slowly begins to convert plasminogen into plasmin. The deposition of fibrin within the vessel wall gives rise to stimuli which trigger the release of plasminogen activator from the endothelial cells of the blood vessel. These physiologic knowledge of formation of FDP by plasmin is crucial to understand the pharmacology of fibrinolytic drugs. As usual there are quiz questions. Pause this video and answer them. Comment your answers below. As usual please like, comment and subscribe if you find this video useful, as this will motivate me into doing more videos like this. Don't forget you can request your biology or medicine topics via the Google form that is linked in the description below. Thank you and see you all in the next video.